Hello everyone. Today or at this moment we are gathered for the sacrament of holy baptism. We have Michael and Jean Niece, uh, their daughters with them as well. And we have Casey and Kendra Berg, the, the parents of Aiden James. Cullen is here as well. And, and so this is a special moment uh, and this is a very unique moment. Uh, we are, uh, what day is it? It is April 4th, uh, 2020, and we are amidst a, a quarantine, a stay-at-home order. Uh, coronavirus is on our minds. But in this moment, we are uh, mindful of uh, the gift that God gives to us uh, in holy baptism, and that's the, the faith uh, given through word and water. And so, we are able to remember our baptismal uh, faith uh, with the words uh, that were placed upon us at one point in time, uh, the words identifying this God we believe in, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Together we say, Amen. Our Lord commanded baptism, saying to his disciples in the last chapter of Matthew, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I'll be with you always to the very end of the age. The holy apostles of the Lord have written, The promise is for you and your children, and baptism now saves you. Casey and Kendra, please make the sign of the Holy Cross both upon uh, the forehead and upon the heart. To mark Aiden as one to be redeemed by Christ the crucified. Now hear how our Lord Jesus Christ has opened the kingdom of God to little children. People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Parents and sponsors, it is your duty and task to confess with the whole church the faith of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in whose name this child is to be baptized. You are to remember him in your prayers, put him in mind of his baptism, and as much in you lies, give your counsel and aid that he be brought up in the true knowledge and worship of God and be taught the Ten Commandments, the Creed, and the Lord's Prayer, and that as he grows in years, you place in his hands the Holy Scriptures, bringing him to the services of God's house, and provide for him further instruction in the Christian faith, that, we would re that he would receive the sacrament of Christ's body and blood, and thus abiding in his baptismal grace, in the communion with this church, he may grow up to lead a godly and holy life, to the praise and honor of Jesus Christ. Uh, this then do you parents uh, intend to gladly and willingly do, if so answer, yes. 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 Sponsors, it is your duty to do the same, especially if the child were to lose his parents, you are to assist Aiden's parents in pursuing the tasks and receiving the gifts already identified. So sponsors, this then, do you intend to gladly and willingly do? If so, answer yes. Yes. Yeah. God enable you to will and to do this faithful work and loving work in order to implore the blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ upon the gathering of this child into the family of our Father, let us pray the prayer he gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord preserve your coming in and your going out, from this time forth and forevermore. Amen.
Now we move into the portion, what I call the rejection and affirmation. It begins with uh, the rejection. Because a child can't answer for himself, we shall all together uh, in this unique situation on uh, using technology, we shall faithfully speak on Aidan's behalf in testimony of the forgiveness of sin and the birth of the life of faith which God our Father bestows in and through baptism. And so I ask parents, sponsors, as well as myself, uh, do you renounce the devil? And we say, yes, I renounce him together. Yes, I renounce him. And do you, and we're going to delay the next one, knowing that it takes a bit for Mike and uh, Gene to, to catch up. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait on our end and we'll try to say it together again. Do you reject all his works? And if so, answer, I do reject the devil's works. Or you can say, I, yes, I reject them. Yes, yes I, I reject, reject them. them. Do you renounce all his ways? And we say, yes, I renounce or reject all his ways. Yes, yes. I reject and renounce yes. his ways. Reject all his ways. <laughs> Together, uh, you're going to say, yes, I believe when I get done with my question. Do you believe in God, the Father, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, yes I, I believe. believe. Yes, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried? He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe this? Yes, yes. I, I believe. believe. Yes, I believe. And finally, do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? If so, answer, yes, I believe. Yes, yes, I believe. <laughs> All right, mom and dad, uh, this is the official time. And uh, Papa's going to be doing the baptism, and mom's holding little Aiden. And as I uh, say these words, uh, Casey's going to do three laps of water, one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. So here we go. Aiden James Berg, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yep, the white cloth can go on the forehead, dry that off. And we smile big at this moment. Because <laughs> this is what is prescribed in Scripture. And now a portion called Blessings and Prayers. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you new birth of water and the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, we pray that He strengthen you with His grace to life everlasting. Peace be with you, Colin. Amen. 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 <laughs> Receive this white garment uh, to show that, that Christ has taken away and bore your sin and put upon you his perfect righteousness. So shall you in faith ever stand before him and receive that burning light. And you can light it now. This is where we light the candle. And we say, Receive this burning or that burning light. Live always by the light of Christ and be ever watchful for his coming, that you may meet him with joy and enter with him the, to the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom.